folks, so today's video is day number two using the Urban Decay Moondust palette and wanted to come at you today doing obviously more of a festive look. It wouldn't be my channel unless I did some sort of red and green makeup look. So I decided to use this shade from the palette which is Element. Uh, really unique and really fun shade to use on the eyes and I paired that as well with the Modern Renaissance palette. So this is a palette that's pretty popular and so I figured I'd kind of throw the two together because it might be something that some of you guys have or some of you guys might be interested in. Alright, so the Moondust palette colors that I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be using Element as well as a little bit of Lithium. I'm going to be using a little bit of Golden Ochre, a little bit of Real Gar, and then Red Ochre as well. Alright, and then for brushes, I'm using three, so just two 217 ones, uh, one for the softer color, one for the red, a little pencil brush for underneath the eye, and then also just using a little synthetic brush to apply the glitter onto the lid. First off, I'm just taking one brush, I'm going into Golden Ochre, a little bit of just a soft yellow shade. This is going to go just slightly above my crease. Just as sort of like a brow bone transition shade into the red. So just a little bit of that on there. Next up I'm going into Rilgar, which is more of an orange. This is going to go right into my crease. Oh man, when you don't use the Modern Renaissance palette for a while, and then you do, and you're just reminded of how well they blend, ugh. Alright, and then from there I'm just dipping my brush into a bit of red ochre. It's the dark red in the palette. This is going to get applied on both sort of the inner corner, sort of one third of my lid, and then also on the outer corner. And then I'm just taking the pencil brush going into that shade. I'm applying that just right on the bottom eyelashes, sort of just in the same placement. So on the inner corner part, as well as the outer corner, leaving sort of that middle section blank. And then I'm just going to dampen my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus. And that's when I'm going to go into the Moon Dust palette. And I'm going to first go in with Element. This is kind of like a red shade that has a little bit of orange and a little bit of pink uh, glitter in it. It has a really nice like sheen to it. I really like this. Um, and this is just going to get applied right into the center of the lid. And then I'm just going to do my trick that I love to do, is I apply it when it's wet, that's really going to let it stick to the lid. And then I take a little bit of that dry product and I press it on top, which is going to bring out all of the glitter and make a really nice texture on the eye. And I'm also going to do the same thing just underneath the eye, sort of in that center part. And then if you wanted to, you could very well leave this look like this, add a pop of a brighter shimmery shade on the inner corner. I decided to do something just a tad bit more interesting. It's me. Uh, I like switching it up a bit. And so what I'm doing is I'm just going to, again, just get my brush damp. I'm going to go into Lithium. This is kind of like a neutral shade. Um, I'm definitely going to use this look in a neutral shade this week just because I really like that one. Um, but I find applied as an inner corner highlight. It's really cool. And man, if you have a deep skin tone, using that as an inner corner highlight, it's going to look so good. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to apply that just right onto the inner corner. Also placing it sort of into that like part on the lid as well and just blending that out. For some reason it turned out a little bit more dramatic on this side so I'm just going in on the other side just to sort of balance it out a little bit. And then from there I'm just going to do a coat of mascara on the top and bottom. This again is a look that I prefer without fake eyelashes, however if you were to put fake eyelashes on it would be really cool and dramatic. So it's entirely up to you. Um, I like to give options in my videos, show you guys some looks without eyelashes. I know there's those of you out there who don't use them at all. Um, just know that like looks will still look amazing if you just use your natural eyelashes. It's just eyelashes sort of take it to that next level. Um, but that's entirely a personal preference. So I'm going to go ahead and do mascara, come back and show you how to finish up the rest of the face. Alright, so then this is what the finish I look like looks like with mascara on. Now depending on where the light is, it's hard because I have a ring light here, but sometimes this will pull sort of a pink shade, more of an orange, more of a red. Really fun, I love these. Um, Alright, so then for my face I already have on my contour and my blush. Uh, it's just NYX Taupe Blush. My blush is uh, Luminoso from Milani. I'm adding a little bit of highlight though. I'm using Champagne Pop from Becca. So for lips, there's really only one lip that I wanted to use with this. Uh, obviously, sort of Christmassy themed, I wanted to do a green. But I wanted to do a green that wasn't like a bright green. So this is more of a subtle one, uh, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and nude would look really gorgeous with this as well. I think a red would be a little bit off. So that's again, kind of up to you. But I definitely think sort of like a peachy nude or this shade that I'm going to try. 
Um, so the color that I'm using today is Juniper from Makeup Monsters. It's more of like a army green, I guess, like a subtle army green. So I really like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. So yeah, then with the lips applied, this is the final look. So you obviously don't have to take it this festive, but I want to. That wraps up day two using the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. I love using that lithium shade as an inner corner highlight. I find it just brings something a little bit weird and dramatic to the look. So yeah, leave any comments down below. Is this a look that you like? Is it something that you would wear? Uh, let me know how your holiday plans are going and everything like that as well. So yeah, hopefully everyone is doing good. And until my next video, I'll talk to all you soon. Bye.